Counting in Kenya's presidential election looks set to go down to the wire, with the prospect of a runoff in April becoming a distinct possibility. Four days after Monday's ballot, Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta has taken just under half the votes counted, five points ahead of his main rival, the Prime Minister Raila Odinga. A series of technical problems has embarrassed Kenya's electoral commission. It's causing a lot of anxiety uh, among us people, so I just think um, the concerned uh, body, which is the IEBC, should uh, do its part because uh, we as the electorate, we did our part and uh, turned out in large numbers and voted. So I think it's uh, only fair that they do their part, they give us the results uh, in good time. The electronic system was abandoned in favour of a paper count following a programming error. Both main camps have raised concerns but have promised to use legal channels for any challenge. International observers, including the European Union's ambassador, say the process has been sound and transparent so far and should continue. Although there's been no repeat of the mass bloodshed that followed the 2007 election, there has been violence. People in this Mombasa hospital say they were attacked by a mob demanding independence for Kenya's coastal region. Clashes between separatists and police earlier this week left several people dead.